I'm Arclight of Red Wolf Airsoft and I'm here, still in Hong Kong, visiting the headquarters and central hub of the King Arms brand. And I'm here visited by Mark. Hey. Mark is the sales and marketing manager of King Arms and we were hoping you could help show us around. No problem at all. Okay, fantastic. Okay. Aha, the business room. As you can see, King Arms is basically producing all the airsoft related products, such as rifles, gears, accessories and sensors. Uh, we also carry the AK series in here, the rifles, of course, and we do carry a lot of different accessories for the AK series too. For example, we have the X47 rough system, we have different uh, handguards, magazines and such. Other than the popular M4 and the AK series, we do produce something which is less well known. For example, the Galil series, the Fault, and the L1A1. Well, basically have three lines for the Thompson series because uh, there are different people with different needs. For example, we have the ultra grey line which is in full plastic. And then we have the full metal version which is for something, I mean for someone which is more experienced and like, not for amateurs. And um, later on we were trying to figure out, you know, we're going to do something special for the ESOP communities. And then this is the reason why we have this two bands right here. Right? As you can see, this is the gold and silver version of the Thompson's um, Chicago versions. Um, they're equipped with 9mm gearbox and full real uh, stock and uh, grips. And then this is 23K gold plate and this is chrome. On the table you can see the new guns we're going to be launching this year. Okay. Uh, first one will be the P90 with the tactical rail and uh, updated version of the Fresh Hider. And then there will be two uh, sniper rifles here as you can see uh, belong to the Sig uh, Blazer family. The one up there is going to be a, a spring version of the Blazer 93 and then at the bottoms there will be a gas CO2 version of the Blazer Tactical 2. Well we're happy to announce that for this year we are officially acquiring the um, license from Oman Arms Germany and uh, CAA from uh, Israel. As you can see, uh, we are planning to do basically some products with their brand name on. We actually launched two open arms rifles already, which is the M7 and M8. And we are also planning to do a CQP version, as you can see right here. And at the same time, we are working on the CAA projects, which is the Warney project. Uh, we are trying to fit all different brands and guns into different conversion kits so that we'll have the airsoft version later on to serve the market. King Arms use a well-oiled and well-equipped assembly line to assemble things in high quality. Their efficiency of production also means they make things in fast quantity so they can meet demand. Every single gun that comes through this line is tested on the spot for quality control. With more Thompsons than the Prohibition era, King Arms shows us the scale of the manufacturing side of airsoft. Guns after guns, in boxes after boxes, on pallets after pallets, it's stacked and piles twice my height at a building that is the size of a football field and could probably, fam but yeah, probably house several families. King Arms does not use their massive scale as an excuse not to be organised. They keep all of their parts neatly labelled and stacked away at one end of the room, keeping it very well organised with all the same items in the same places. At the other end of the warehouse we have all of the packing materials, which is actually a little bit more complicated than you might think. Because for every single gun there is, there's four times as much cardboard and foam to deal with as well. So they've got flat pack boxes, as well as the packing foam, neatly stacked and pre-cut into the right sizes. All of the packing staff are working away putting stuff in boxes with actual products in boxes, in stacks over here, giving some sense of scale. I'm six feet tall, and the stacks go higher than me. In fact, if you rearrange all these boxes, I'm pretty sure you can make a house. So now that I have a chance to sit down with you and ask you some questions, I'll start off with something nice and basic. How did King Arms start? It was basically a, a few airsoft players who was kind of sick about the airsoft market at that point, because, well, we love airsoft and then there's lots of time we couldn't get the products we want to or we have to DIY. So it comes to the point that we had enough and it's like, why don't we just start the company and make it? So over the years, what has been King Arm's biggest challenges? Well, the biggest challenge back then was that it was just a whole bunch of people who have no experience 
and trying to build a factory, a company from scratch. Uh, we were facing a lot of difficulties and issues, such as costing, labors, materials, everything. But finally, we overcome it, and it was a good experience. And then we learned step by step from you know from scratch and you know, how to learn. Yeah. So, what do you think has been King Arm's most innovative product? Well, I couldn't think of one particular items or products, but uh, in general, I can say that um, we are always working and trying to come up with new ideas. For example, we have uh, some kind of uh, electric bowback system for our guns and uh, we also work with different companies, for example Magpul Industry before to have the first crossover project to build a rifle together. Things like that will be uh, in terms of innovative products. We can have it but innovative ideas and smaller that way. So what is King Arm's vision and mission for Airsoft? Well basically King Arm's aims to produce all sort of Airsoft related products. And our mission will be, um, we will be trying to come up with new items, something extraordinary with an affordable price tag and good quality. So as a manufacturer, what is King Arm's philosophy on build quality? I'll say quality is the most important aspect which comes in our mouth all the time. And uh, what we're trying to do is, we're trying to serve the airsoft market with the best quality items at the same time, which is affordable. We are still trying to find a balance at this point, and I think we're doing pretty good about it. Because right now, basically for different segments, we have different uh, items for them. Uh, for beginners and amateurs, we do have different guns, for example, different rifles. We have the ultra grade for beginners, and then we have the full metal souped up versions for the uh, experienced players. So a bit more of an abstract question for you. As an experienced manufacturer, how have you seen Airsoft change in the last five to ten years? Well, first of all, there are lots of newcomers joining the uh, Airsoft market, that's one thing. Uh, the competition is, is a lot higher at this stage. Um, because it's an open market, which is something which is unavoidable. Uh, however, we see this as a challenge because this is one of the reasons to keep us motivated and trying to come up with something better and nicer and cheaper to serve the SR community. So to sum up my final question to you, uh, what are King Arm's hopes uh, for the future? What's your future plan? Uh, currently we'll be still uh, working on our um, rifle project. For example, we still do have a few uh, electric guns we have to finish. Uh, of course, we are going to do some accessories and parts at the same time. As I mentioned before, uh, we got some uh, official license from, for example, CAA and Overland Arms, which we're going to keep developing. In future, hopefully, we will be able to expand our port lines more wider. Other than um, our AZ line, we are also working on our gas bullback line also. At the same time, we try to build some uh, other rifles, such as sniper rifles or maybe machine guns later on too. So Mark, thank you for spending your time and showing us around. Thank you for coming. It's been a joy. Thank you very much. My pleasure. So for all of these products and much more coming soon, keep an eye on our website at www.redwolfairsoft.com.